Good afternoon to you all, Daniel Miller here. How's everybody doing today? Yet another drizzly, cloudy, dark day here in London suburbs. Hope you're all well, healthy, safe and well, I should say, uh, during these very, very difficult times. I'm also certainly hoping that you are playing your favourite games on all platforms, Xbox, PC and PlayStation included. Don't have many news really to tell you today. It's all about really Xbox, the new console coming out on the 10th of November, and also about Destiny, Destiny Beyond Light being aligned to the release of the new console. For all of you who are here with us every single day, you will know full well that we indeed were streaming it off uh, Xbox Game Pass since, uh, let me think, since Wednesday of last week and uh, it's been a very very good experience the graphics have been somewhat uh, um, improved for the next-gen console and everything seems like really brightly illuminated with a lot of attention given to detail and on my brow your setup it looks absolutely incredible we've got somebody coming in let me see uh, we have uh, somebody trying to sell us something well this is prohibited here on my channel and also it is prohibited by the Twitch rules so I'm afraid my moderators are going to be taking some action against this person so bear with us Apologize for this. We do get sometimes random individuals coming in and trying to sell things. This is strictly prohibited here on my channel and we operate within the rules both as outlined by our Microsoft and Xbox ambassador community as well as those on Twitch and PlayStation. So please if you want to sell products do not come randomly to Twitch channels because you will be facing a lifelong ban. Uh, you will not be able to use the services ever again in the future and therefore you will uh, you simply have to abide by the rules basically and I really do not appreciate people popping in doing such things here on the channel we do not get them frequently but from time to time th there are individuals who do not understand you know the meaning of the word like law and rules coming back to Destiny we are very excited to be able to stream Destiny from Xbox Game Pass as I said I feel and I can certainly see on my Bravia setup that the uh, version offered on Xbox Game Pass is indeed already tweaked for the next gen release so that's that's terrific they released some news last week indicating that they worked a lot on lighting they wanted everything to be um, razor sharp crystal clear and that indeed has been achieved in full so I'm very very glad that the work's already been completed for everyone who is a subscriber to the ultimate here on Xbox you are going to be getting instant access to Beyond Light on the 10th of November. Do remember to preload because Beyond Light will be delivered in a somewhat different type of uh, tech environment. It is going to be tweaked and prepared for the next generation graphics and consoles therefore you will have to be downloading the entire content of Destiny 2 not just the expansion. So they, Bungie said they will make it accessible for preload few days in advance and therefore I've, I think between the 8th and the 10th of November we are going to be able to uh, uh, make sure that uh, you know the game which is going to be about 120 gigs is going to be uh, downloaded in full. It may mean that the original download will have to be deleted and then we'll basically just reload the whole thing. We'll have to wait and see but do remember do remember to preload um, earlier but on the 10th as obviously on the 10th and 11th there will be significant delays and the downloads will be very very slow. Right yesterday we were doing Shadow Keep and we had completed the vast majority of the activities there and uh, we are given some extra grindy lengthy tasks that are going to be followed today. So let's just jump in and have a look. Warlock Human Mail, dear B. Miller, it is today. I'm particularly pleased about my Dreambane armor. It looks absolutely awesome. It is very functional and we were getting it as part of our quests 
based on the campaign and story missions of Shadowkeep. One of them was tricky. You will recall that uh, the entire surface uh, of the moon has been reworked and some of the areas like um, the World's End and Temple of Crota are harder to find than usual and uh, if you are a veteran of Destiny 1, the original game, you will recognize the difference immediately. I did actually struggle quite a bit. Oh. Can't see what's going on. Well, the mystery is unravelling. I was very surprised to get this cutscene. Uh, yesterday, given the very beginning of Shadowkeep, after we completed the last section of those story missions, which was a bit strange. So let us see regarding the pyramid. We acquired that lore. We'll just follow instructions and to do whatever is necessary. Loads of tasks are there to be completed. And for all of you familiar, you'll know that I absolutely adore doing lots of tasks that are given to us by various characters, non playable characters, NPCs as we call them. Um, some of them are really grindy. I always strive towards a full completion and that's exactly what we are going to be doing today. On the other night, you will be probably aware of the fact that on the 10th of November almost half of Destiny 2 will be vaulted. So four planets will disappear and all the content which is related to the activities there will be sent to the vault. Whether this content is to be accessible at a later date we do not know as yet but if you are a veteran, if you want to uh, still complete all the outstanding quests you've got to do them before the 10th of November so you have roughly about five to six weeks to do that. Remember that because you may well be unpleasantly surprised on the 10th when you discover that half the map's gone. The destinations of those planets will not be showing up on the director. So it's very important that if you are a completionist, a collector, you'll do everything before you get there, before we get to the 10th. Right, so let me see what tasks we have before us today. It's interesting about being respawned in here. Not just the why. Let's very quickly have a look. So, who wants to talk to us there? If anyone, we have our friend Drifter. He would give us some bounties, so we're not going to bother with any of this. Master Rahul, we need to talk to him. KD, it's all nice and easy. Uh, we all have to be going back to the moon, obviously, for all the tasks which are still waiting for us to complete. Maybe today we'll start with the Altars of Sorrows. A very good warm-up, would you not say? one of my favorite activities here in the sequel together with Escalation Protocol the best way of doing it is just getting together with some other guys who are really experienced with lots of good weapons and armor and then simply cracking on and completing all six tiers right, first of all we'll speak to Master Rahul 
Shall we begin then? Indeed we shall, sir. We have one engram. Oh, it's 1008. That's quite good. We're getting this new sword. Very good. We did want a more powerful sword. Finally, it's been acquired. And we have another sword. Oh, we've got even two. So that was one of those I picked up. It was a reward given to me yesterday. Night Terror Sword. 2008. Um, still Sybil. Oh, both of these are very good. One is Void, the other is Arc. Depending on your personal preference. Okay, this one we'll put in the vault. Looks like there's plenty of stuff to go to the vault. Right, look at that in minutes. Um, but. I need to see what else we need to pick up from our friend Katie. Let me see. Yes. Oh, we got one of these. Okay. Check, check, check. Oh, that's the same weapon. Well, fair enough. We uh, can be short on some of those good weapons. And what I also want to see is this. Yeah, we have plenty of engrams. We need to really uh, go downstairs and sort them out. Fine, we'll do this. But before we go downstairs and chat to our friend Drifter and get into some of that serious decoding, we are going to be doing some admin. We need to sort out our gear. Very many good rewards I acquired yesterday. Very proud of that. And you will see some of these are quite noticeable, like for instance this weapon here, Tranquility Sniper Rifle, that I picked up. And then in here we had Archaeologic, and then over here a Fine Memorial, a very good machine gun, very deadly, got to admit. So what's this? 1005-1008. Okay, we'll store this one, and we'll store this other sword as well. Magic Dark Drinker, still is my favorite sword. But you don't have that dark drink in here. Only in Destiny 1, the original game. I really want to try those two swords. This one I did try previously, still Sybil, but this one, Night Terror, has not been tried. Let me see. The impact pretty much the same, really. Let me look at these two. Rocket launcher, machine gun. I need to keep one of these rocket launchers. So that is the colony, and then Darcy, and then sword. I think Darcy I can put in the vault. Right, so the next one is Sunshot, and this is 1004. Let me see whether I have any of those enhancement cores. If that is the case, we'll just quickly increase. Well, I do. That's very good. So that sorts it. I really love this weapon. I'm not sure whether you guys are using it, but Sunshot's been so useful. It has explosive rounds, and I'm able to whack several enemies at once. So that really is very greatly appreciated. Right, so in here we have 103, 102. It's not really that significant, is it? Sniper rifle. Automatic rifle. We'll get rid of this one. I want to have an increment of maybe two or three per slot. Thousand four. Well, these ones have no use. This one may be useful. Thousand four. That's again not useful. Right, so that's all sorted out, more or less. And now we need to go and visit our friend down below. So let me just get my marker up and running. There we are. I'm actually, that's a bit silly. I don't really have to do anything else but simply teleport. And that is what we are going to do. Alright, so we have Captain Jack. 
and Captain Jack says uh, uh, there is a fake dark drinker in Destiny 2. Hello, how are you doing, sir? Good to see you, and thank you for joining us today. Yes, pleasure to see you. Please, no, there is a fake one, but I guess my reference most purely in regards to Pinnacle Wan in Destiny Mod, the community member, about this. The fact is, still, very many Destiny veterans, um, you know, will take up a position. Pinnacle weapons in Destiny 1 were better, more effective, harder to get, that the quests were more appropriate, and um, I think to degree them. But the difference there is that Destiny 1 didn't have as much choice as we had, and there weren't that many weapons overall. There were quite a few, but compared to this one, you know, the original game is just simply dwarf. And that, that is the basic difference. Remember doing all the pinnacle weapon quests, Destiny One, and they did take a long. Mind you, we also have some lengthy grinds in here. They may not be for weapon like Dark Drinker, but in you know, some bounties, some quests, um, they they get it. Um, and these are fairly fairly lengthy grinds. You can see that this, we're getting a bit of uh, a lag as well, and that's it's not caused by me. Let me. Just very quickly double check something from my end. Not sure what could be causing it. Something on the neck. Okay. Oogie Boogie sounds cool. Using Welcome to my machine. It's like this machine. That won't judge you. Right. Gloves. Lonesome. Incognita. Bad omens. The last dance. Well, I could be and should be very, very pleased. Let us quickly see what the power level is. I do want to be wearing my Dream Bane armor. Right, so that's not really use. Well, we don't really need doubles. And then um, in here we have all two plus five. Okay. Curious about his weapons. Let's see. A lonesome sidearm. One thousand. Well, it's not really particularly useful. Sunshot is really my personal preference. Uh, Captain Jack says it's called uh, uh, falling guillotine. You get it from either Umbral Engrams or Assassin focused Engrams of the Recaster. Yeah, get it on this machine, I believe. Told me about this a little while back, and um, I think I picked it up actually once. I think I did. I'll double check in my vault. I'll have a look. Uh, what was it? Right, this rocket launcher. No, I don't really want it. I've got another one in the vault, and in here, the last dance picked up earlier and this is lonesome. I'm gonna try this lonesome but really shot in any way. So I'll just stick it in the vault. Okay. And uh, we'll go back to uh, the top deck. I have to say that the loading overall here on Xbox is quite slow compared to uh, PlayStation. It, you know it really and I I would say probably a bit slower since we went to um, Game Pass. When we had a standalone game, then it was different. It was much faster. So these are the differences I observed. See so if anybody's joining us here and uh, subscribing to the Ultimate. Just keep this in mind. But I believe they will be increasing the speeds with Beyond Light as half of the content will disappear and they'll also tweak it for the processor on the new console which I, well I'm, I've seen some videos and uh, they were presenting us with the, um, the worlds you're familiar with this wonderful open world game similar to Fallout and whilst Ox one the loading would take up to a minute and 10 seconds that means 70 seconds uh, they were able to get it up and running on the new console within less than 10 you could appreciate. 
I really look forward to it, I'd say. I think the new console looks awesome and there will be a multitude of new services introduced together with it, so even more excited about those. And uh, having the uh, smart delivery uh, right from the beginning on lots of different games, inclusive of Destiny, will be very useful because you will automatically then get the update that is upgrading your game from the resolution applicable to Xbox One to the one on X Project X. So really very very good indeed. Right, so I wanted to first of all stick a couple of those items in the vault and I wanted to double check the weapon that Captain Jack just told us about. I think the weapon um, indeed is there. I just need to find it. And uh, the last dance well, you know, this, when you have your superior weapons, then you don't really resort to any of these. I really absolutely adore. It's so beautifully designed, and I'm in awe of the um, of the appearance. Look at this; it's just incredible. To tell you the truth, the skins I used on Dreambane here on the chest piece are very similar to what I had with my armor given to me um, through, what was it, um, Guardian Games armor, which I previously used. But I particularly like uh, the helmet. I think it's just absolutely awesome. So let's just have a look at it and admire it for a little more. For myself, the design of this helmet is very similar to what we've seen in Assassin's Creed, the original trilogy. They're really almost amazing. Top notch. Just quickly have a look if there's something on my console that's delaying the stream. I don't think it is. There isn't anything. I'm sure what's causing it, I really apologize. Or on my um, tablet. Just bear with me a second, a very... shouldn't be too hard. 